Alrighty, I've prepped all the frame and cut all the pieces and now it's ready for welding. So I'll probably weld it on about 80 amps, 80 or 90. I'll try 80. I think 80 is pretty good. I did 80 on um, all these ones. So that should be alright. Um, I originally was going to have this front one longer and then have these pieces on there. So it'll be like that. But um, when I have those pieces on there, it's basically where the wheel is going to go. So you can picture that that's there. And then I can't really do it, but the other wheel will sit about there. So really, that's the correct width. So you don't really want any bigger than that. So I'm just going to weld those little things just on there like so. It looks like a really thin chassis, but once the wheels are on there, it'll, it'll make it look a lot bigger. Um, I'll probably put another one, maybe, I'll have to put another one there for the servos. And I'll probably put another one here in like the exact same position that one is in. I don't want to have one in the middle, otherwise the flexing will be gone. So that's that's going to be the flex point. And yeah, so now I'm just going to weld that up. Alrighty, so I'm after making this now, which is the turning thing. Uh, I just made this one up as an example. This isn't the actual one, because this one's just done really sloppy. You can see that bolts aren't even on an angle. Uh, it's not even straight, sorry. Um, and this moves around and stuff. So this is definitely not going on the cart. Oh, RC car. Um, so with that one that I just made, um, I've done these ones up. So these are 14.5 centimeters long or 145 mil long. And then I measured in five or 50 mil from both sides. And the holes are drilled 20 mil in from the center. Um, so 20 mil in that way and 20 mil in that way because this is 40 wide and it's about four mil thick. So if you want to make up these little turning things, if you're following um, my design, they're 14.5 long, 40 wide. This is five and that's two. So now what I'm going to do is put them in the vise at the five, like so, and then bash it with a hammer. And then put the other thing in the vise and bash it with the hammer. And then it'll come out like how those ones are. Except those ones, I'd made them and then pre-drilled the holes. Uh, then I drilled the holes, so that's why they're all sort of shit. These ones, I pre-drilled them beforehand. So when I do them, they're all lined up and they're all nice. So now I'm going to bend those. It is, I don't know, 8.30 or something. So hopefully my neighbours won't get too annoyed. I've been grinding away all night, so I don't really care. <laughs> I've made the whole chassis now. It's all welded. Um, and yeah, now I'm just going to make those things and then weld them on the sides so they'll sit. like so and then um, I'm going to weld another piece across like that sort of thing and then the servos will mount on there I'll just cut some slits I might have to cut away that part there and the servos will mount in there and then the turning parts will go into there into the servos alrighty so now I'll make these things and I'll show you what they look like at the end. Alrighty, I've made these little U brackets now. And as you can see, they're a lot better than the other one. So I'll just. <laughs> oh, where's the wheel? I'll show you the, uh, the difference. See this one? That 
bolt is on an angle. And these ones, the bolt is straight. Not like they've been bought in a store. Just a little, uh, take your time and they turn out real nice. Pretty much. Perfecto. Now, I'm not going to put a tube through this because I don't have any tube laying around that will go over this. So, I'm just going to weld the threaded rod directly to this nut, uh, to this bolt, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to chamfer it a little bit, which means you just, like, take it a little bit. Um, it won't be as good but hopefully it'll be good enough um, yeah so I just gotta cut some threaded rod and then put that on I mean it's it's pretty loose and if it's if it toughens up a bit then um, like that point there is a bit tough some CRC will fix that or just loosening that bolt a bit. So, I think if I cut this in half, I should get away with it. Yeah. If I cut this in half, and that'll be good. So, I do that, weld that on, and then that's the end for a day. I think I've I've done a lot. I had to rebuild that. Uh, I had to put a new condenser in there because when it was out in the rain, the condenser stuffed up. So this is the old one. You can't really see much on the camera, but it is buggered. So I replaced that because I had a spare one. I had a spare block, and um, now it runs real nice. I won't start it up because it's too late. So. Yeah, I'm just going to weld on this threaded rod. I'll weld on these tomorrow. I'll weld that rod on the back first and put the wheels on. And before I weld these on, because if I weld these on like there, and then the back wheels, you know, only sit, then I don't want the front being higher. I want it to go like that, or a little bit of an angle. So all the weight's going down to the front wheels so you can turn. And then it doesn't pull monos as much, or wheelies or whatever. So yeah, I'll just do that and then bedtime. Alright, see you guys later. This is sort of a rough idea what it's going to look like. So it looks pretty good. I think the, the width is alright. I mean, it could be wider, but then it's just going to be way too big. So. Yeah. Turned out nice.